By the power of Grayskull. I have the power! What up, fellas? What up, fellas? I said, what up, fellas? What's going down with y'all, man? I know y'all see it out here, bro. I know y'all see it out here, bro. I know y'all see it out here, bro. You know what time it is, fellas, right? You know what time it is, right, fellas? It's mating season. Hold on, can I come again? It's mating season. And you know what that means, bro? That means you, that's right, you behind the camera right now watching this video, you holding your seed, you doing all you could be in 2024. It's time for you to step into the game and show us what you made of, boy. Show us what you made of, boy. This is why you work so hard. This is why you focus. This is why you are not the average man. This is why when you go out here, you gonna cause all sorts of turmoil. Let me tell you what's gonna happen to you when you're out here during mating season, bro. All right, what's gonna happen to you when you're out here during mating season, bro? Men are going to mate guard their mates. That's right, fellas. And you know why they're gonna do that? Because they're gonna feel insecure. You know why they're gonna do that? Because you, my friend, you, my friend, are out here with all the confidence. You, my friend, out here are swagged out. You, my friend, out here are living life to the highest degree, bro. Vibrating, people feeling your aura. Your life's just great. You have a smile on your face. You're always trying to do the right Six. thing for people, bro. Six. And this is when life gets great. So they gonna hate on you, they gonna make guard, okay? They gonna show so many insecurities, bro. Okay, but one thing I want you to understand is during maiden season, bro, it's all natural. It's all natural choice, bro. Okay, so that doesn't mean just because you have a wife and you just have a, a girlfriend that you don't think you could come out here, bro, and she's not going to put off some signals. Okay, let me tell you something. Marriage, relationships do not stop nature. Okay, I just want you guys to understand that and then maybe that'll give you a little bit of more confidence to understand bro That you as a man just got to live with the flow. You got to let things happen, bro Okay, you can't be one of these regular men out here, bro. You don't don't be weak, bro Don't be weight beta, bro. You want to be out here on your highest energy, bro on your highest vibration You want to be out here just chilling going with the flow bro i'm telling you people like you people open up to you let me tell you guys something man let me tell you what else is going to happen to you so you're out here you're holding your seed bro right you're doing your thing bro all right guess what else is going to happen to you this is when you know you on your p's and q's other men bro are going to start complimenting you let me tell you something man and this ain't don't know no no you know say get 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 gay stuff okay this is on that real real top right here bro okay listen the guy, the guys out here are going to compliment you and that is like the biggest compliment that you can get bro when guys take their time out of their day to tell you that you look sharp that you are done you are done up right you you look like you out there about to get it this is the compliments you're gonna get bro okay during mating season from these other men other these men out here bro who've been lacking Okay, they were lacking this year. They were spanking their money. They was they was watching the corn hub, bro. And now, bro, they're going to come out here in the game, bro, and we're going to run full court on them. Okay? We going we going we going to shut them down. Why? Because we are the rare ones, bro. We were the ones out here standing out, bro. We're out here excreting these pheromones. I want you guys to understand something. You guys think it's a joke, bro. You're retaining your seed, bro. You're out here, you're retaining your seed. You're out here gathering your life force energy, your chi, bro, right? Instead of wasting it, bro, what you're doing is you're conserving it, bro, okay? And when you're conserving it, guess what happens to you? You start to excrete these pheromones. Why? Because this is something built into your body by nature, bro, to attract the opposite, okay? This is what it does. So when you're out here doing that in mating season, 
when the heat and the temperature is up. Everybody out here in their best. Let me tell you, it looks like a fashion show all the way around. Men out here trying to be at their best. Women out here trying to be out their best. And what it's gonna come down to is gonna come down to pure attraction, bro. And how do you assimilate pure attraction? You assimilate pure attraction, bro, by releasing subconscious, bro, messages to the opposite sex, okay? Which is something that's picked up that we cannot sense through nature, okay? And when you're excreting these, plus you have everything about you together, this is only gonna make you, bro, the desired person of choice. And I've seen it over and over and over again. Let me tell you guys something, man. When I'm telling you the compliments never stop, I'm not out here trying to, trying to make it seem like I'm that, the only dude in the world, okay? This is not what, the, what I'm trying to put out. What I'm trying to get you guys to understand, bro, is if I can do this, if I can get up off my butt, if I can come out here, change my whole life around, if I can say I'm gonna do the best, best, bro, for myself from here on out and the rest of my life, and it starts with cleaning up, bro, this lower half of myself, putting myself on the, on the, on the disciplinary track to greatness. If I can do that, why can't you do that? Why can't you do that? You're no different than me, bro. And now I'm out here, bro, in the game, shining. I'm out here on the court, Kobe Bryant. You out there hating now. You out there hating now because you wasn't in the gym. You wasn't working on your jumper. You wasn't working on your game. And now look how your life is done turned out. When you could have took this whole last year, bro, been holding that seed, okay? Come out in the game, bro, and show the world who you are. This is why you do this, okay? You wanna have the best shot, bro. You wanna have the best shot, bro, at passing on a healthy seed. This is why you do this. That you're not doing this a long-term thing, okay? Why you're still young, why you, why the creator's still giving you the ability to spread spread your seed. This is what you're supposed to be doing, okay? And this is why we practice what we practice. So we out here as killers, we one-shot kills. We don't miss. We pollinate the flower, bro. This is your job. You are a honeybee in the mist of the beautiful sun, bro. Flying around this big old world, like I told you, not tied down. Flying around this big old world, bro. Pollinating all the flowers, all the wounds with your royal seed. One shot knocking them down. Bringing God and goddesses to this plane. Mature seed, sperm autogenesis. This is what you doing, bro. This is what you're doing. And when you're doing that, man, you're living life the way you're supposed to and the most high looks down on you. And then anything that you want, anything that you could ever ask for, bro, it gets brought to you. It gets granted like the genie in a bottle. Call it Aladdin. You can have anything you want while you're living on this path and harnessing this energy. Everything that I've just explained to you, bro, is natural it's nature it's what we are before society and all of its constructs we are nature how do we achieve nature we'll just go back in the woods with just your bare hands and your clothes on your back with no tools and no weapons that's nature that's what we have to go back to to understand the basis of this game and the basis of this game on how to win how to stay focused Okay? How to build attraction, how to build wealth, is you have to retain your energy. How does it not make sense? If energy promotes power, and you need power to move whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, how is it not that your energy, your life force energy, your chi, is not responsible for everything that you do? And we already know this is what the case is. We already know what this, we know this, this is the case. So this is what we're doing out here. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful out here. It is a wonderful day brought to you by the Most High. 
and I'm appreciative of everything that I got. I'm appreciative of everything in my life. I'm appreciative that I got on seed retention. I'm appreciative on everything that I am turning out to be. I am changing into my final form, bro. A masculine, confident man. A man that understands both sides of the spectrum. A man that's in touch with every single aspect of his being. And this is what I want you guys to understand. It's so much deeper than you can ever imagine. But instead, what's gonna happen is, everybody gonna hate, bro, because they wasn't in there shooting in the gym. When they could have been doing this the whole time and they would have been this much further, this much smarter, okay, because your IQ skyrockets. This much of a calm demeanor man, bro, who can go through life, bro, not expect nothing and receive everything that he wants because it's a vibration. It's a releasing of everything, bro. You're just being, you're just flowing. And when that happens, bro, you open yourself up to all of these different energies. I'm telling you what's been happening to me. I'm telling you, and I'm understanding what is going on now. I am understanding how we're supposed to be. And I'm telling you, this is the only life for me, bro. This is the only life for me, bro. And I'm never gonna go back because I understand the power now. I understand. I learned how to wield it, bro. I learned how to control my lower nature, bro. Therefore, I will have no weaknesses. I've earned the badge of superhero, Superman. I've earned that badge. And this is how you earn that badge because now you're someone who can be trusted. You're someone who's going to help. Isn't this what Superman does? You're someone who's not going to discriminate. Isn't this what Superman does? But you think it's a joke when all of us have the ability to be who it is that we want to be. And if that's who you want to be, then you go ahead and be that person. You don't ever let somebody out here, bro, try to shame you try to laugh at you, try to bring you down for what? For what? For what? Because you live in your life, because you happy, because you out here doing what it is that you want to do with no shyness. You don't care who's watching you because everything that you're spitting is the truth and is the facts. And this is where it's at. So guys, keep retaining your seed. Like I said, this is what this time is for. This is why you work so hard. This is why you put in all that discipline. This is why you did all them push-ups, all them sit-ups, all them crunches. This is why you taking your supplements. This is why you getting your hair fly. This is why you dress down and gear down. You're doing it for this time, okay? And if you were one of those people out there, bro, who really took this journey seriously, this is your time to shine. This is your time to attract. This is your time to pollinate that flower. And I tell you, a guy that's retaining his seed does not miss. And that's on everything I love. So I appreciate you guys for being here. I'm about to dip out. I got to go enjoy myself, fellas. But I definitely thought I should come out here and share. Share the energy. You're going to see in the energy that's about to be out here marinating and mingling with the people. Okay? You know how it goes. All right, so keep taking care of yourself, guys. Keep retaining that seed. Love and take care of yourself. Self-love, okay? Get out in nature. Be amongst nature, bro, so you can do what it is that you are designed to do. You're designed to be out here traveling far and wide, not settling down. That was a construct of the patriarch. I already told you that. Not settling down. Exploring the world, bro exploring the world bro and pollinating flowers as far as i know there's flowers everywhere there's peaches everywhere there's nectarines everywhere we pollinate bro okay and the only way we do our job correctly bro is if we retain it okay we have to retain for for those days we have to put in those disciplines okay and now you can come out here and do what it is that you're supposed to do and then once you've done what it is you're supposed to do you go right back to the time chamber bro and you start hitting it again. And, you, and you're building yourself up for the next year. 
Doesn't that make doesn't that make more logical sense than what it is that we're told instead of being out here just depleting ourselves left and right? Doesn't that make more sense to you? It makes perfect logical sense, fellas, and you know this. So that's all I want y'all to do. I want y'all to be out here, be on your grind, love yourself, and I'm out to get out of here. Let me check who's in the building real quick. I feel bad. I just got rejected by a woman. <laughs> you don't, bro. Don't even, don't even bring that up, man. Just think about the good stuff, man. Don't be thinking about the bad stuff, bro. It happened, flushed it, and move on, man. West, West in the building. I hear you. I hear you. Who is that? Alexis Raw, he said, rejection part of the process, bro. Tell him, man, that's what it is. But he obviously ain't holding that seed because someone who holding their seed ain't going to come on alive and express something like that. <laughs> Somebody holding their seed going to gonna chalk it up, bro, and keep moving, bro, on to the next. When I told you this world is huge and you're just a little honeybee, bro, you have a huge, you will never be able to pollinate all these flowers, bro. Okay, <laughs> you just will never be able to do it. So that should motivate you the most to get your shit together to see what your potential could be. Truth to Broadcast Station, what's up, bro? So I almost left my body yesterday. Oh, did you had a uh, do you had a, a out of body experience? I've had I've had quite a few of those, and it does, bro. It makes you feel like you're dying. It's it's actually kind of crazy. It is, bro. If you, I, I bet most of y'all probably never had an out of body experience, bro. That's just for real, bro. If, if you literally feel like you're dying, man. Muhammad, what's happening, my man? The only time I let my seat goes with a with a woman. What do you mean? That's it. But it ain't just going to be any woman. It's going to be a woman of my chick, my choosing. It's just the way it works, bro. I'm picky. If I see a girl by the time I get off this camera that I like, I will let you see that interaction. But here's the thing. I, I'm not like, I'm not thirsty, bro. I'm, bro, my objective is holding my seat. I'm holding all my money. I'm holding all my gold coins. What do you mean, bro? I'm holding on to my essence that's giving me this mojo right now. And if you think I'm just about to lose all my mojo, all my potential, bro, <laughs> for a thought, for I can't get myself out of, of a low vibration, I can't, bro, then you don't need to be on C retention, bro. This ain't for you. This is for the gods, bro. This is for the people, bro, who are honestly out here trying to be bosses, okay? And I don't mean that in any other way it, this could take the corniest nerdiest man and turn him into a boss and you think i'm capping but that's okay because you've never been here you can't even speak to me and tell me what it's like to be on seed retention for two years you can't even speak to me i know what it's like and i'm telling you what it does i'm telling you how it's changed me i'm telling you how it gave me a huge a uh, huge new perspective on the world because that's what it's done and that's how i feel and I'm, I'm pretty sure anybody else that's been on a journey as such as mine, bro, experienced the same thing, okay? Experienced the same thing, bro. This, this journey is not a journey that you go for for the rest of your life. I'm pretty sure you could do that. But I'm just telling you, this isn't the journey, bro, that you would do for the rest of your life, my man. This journey is to do what I just told you at the beginning of this video, which is to be out here pollinating the earth while you still are young and vital because when you get older what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to retain this seed you're going to want to get into your spiritual side of your body you're want to going to start keeping all the minerals and nutrients in your body because you want to live longer and that's nature that's natural Dylan what's up bro Hell yeah, that's, see, that's what I'm talking about. Dylan, that's what I'm talking about, bro. You see that? 
that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you, you brought it up, but look how quickly you rebound with the positive. See, if you keep your, your mind, you don't understand, people don't understand how powerful your mind is, you guys. You think certain things, you say certain things, you create things in the existence. It's not me trying to jump on anybody. I'm just trying to correct you so you can correct yourself. You everything, the just try to say everything about yourself and the situations that you go to as positives. Don't, don't ever manifest and, and bring to life the negative things. Try to always say the positive stuff, bro. Okay? I'm telling you, you have a much better output in life, bro, if you think like that. I'm ready to pollinate. <laughs> it's the truth, bro. This is what is what it is, but it's it's like this, man. Like I said, like it's about working hard, bro. It's about just it's just like anything else. You can look at it as like a sport, bro. Like I said, like football, you go through spring, you go through winter, you know, you go you go through all of these different phases of camp to get yourself together, to get yourself right. Okay? And that means retaining your sexual energy, bro. And if you're doing that, man, like I said, you're ready. You're you're ready, bro. You're you are Kobe. You are Michael Jordan, bro. You're the team leader. You're out here wet. And and this should motivate you. This should motivate you, bro. You're out here wet. Are you kidding me? You're out here on your best. You at your bro, you're on your best version, bro. When I tell you I'll stop and talk to anybody, bro, and I do all the time, okay? So when I tell you you do that, that's what you do. You start to see life differently. You understand that everybody out here is just having an experience, bro. And if you can provide some kind of positive energy to their experience, whether they like you as like that or not, you're going to make an impact on those people. And that's how you build connections. And that's how you be out here, bro, and, and get it. You just be amongst the people. <laughs> Thank you. I like that inside. I like how inside put that. He said... He said, vibing high on a long streak, rejection, just bounce off the aura. That's what it does, bro. It's like I'm saying, I, I don't even mention it. Why do I need to mention that? I don't put, I, bro, man, I'm, I'm all high, high vibes, bro. Everything that come out of my mouth, I learned the secret, bro. You, you can't think it, bro. You ha can't have nothing negative. Let me tell you, bro, if you're in a negative relationship, you're just destroying yourself. You're in a relationship that you know you're not happy. You're in a, or she's in a relationship that she knows she's not happy. You two are destroying yourself, bro. You think it's a joke. You're going to find out one day, okay? And the sad part is you're both going to build karma. You're both going to have, you know, a soul tie. You know, you both are going to go through a lot of stuff, bro, and it's not worth it, man. The best thing to do, bro, is to cut ties. I know it's hard, but if you understood that you went inside and you would just hold your sexual energy, you'll come out here with a totally different attitude. You will see the way life is supposed to be. You're supposed to be out here mingling, okay? No, I'm telling you what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be out here mingling, bro, okay? And as a man, you know your job. You have all these beautiful flowers that are waiting to be pollinated. This is what you're, bro, this is what you're working hard for. This is why you in that gym, okay? And really, you don't even really need to be in that gym. The gym is such a small part. See, you guys got it backwards. Y'all trying to take shortcuts. Y'all trying to, trying to, trying to uh, uh, get some fake attraction instead of get the real attraction. Be out here with your aura popping, excreting all these pheromones, the, the bass in your voice. Your swag, bro. This this is what people are attracted to, bro. Okay, this is why no matter what marriage you got, no matter what relationship you think you in, traction is always going to be attraction. And if you think for one second that your partner is never, ever, ever, and again in the rest of their life going to ever find somebody else attractive, you've lost your mind. 
and the part, the, 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 the craziest part about it is that you get, the, the men are so insecure about it, bro. <laughs> when they don't understand that they're out of, they're out of balance of nature. All they need to do is be retaining that seed and they're going to see this whole life totally differently. There ain't no way they're going to be want to be shacked up at one spot. They got too much to do. They got too many places to go. They got too much to see. They got so much energy, bro, that they decide to just park it and waste it and end up losing their lives early, okay? Some of it can get really bad. Regardless of what you do, you're losing life. It's already scientifically proven. You're losing life every single time you do it. So if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it to a purpose. And that purpose would be to explore the world. Tune in with nature, bro. Find out who you really are. Find out who you really supposed to be. And that's the life that I want to tell you to live because it's the most, you get the most fulfillment. I'm fulfilled in my life. You can think of, listen, I'm telling you what I am. So it doesn't matter what you think. I'm telling you what I am. I'm fulfilled in life, bro. And the way that that happened was going on this journey. I understand everything now. I understand the way life is supposed to be. And now I'm living without a care. I'm just living life. Whatever happens, happens. Put myself in, in, in good situations to try to attract good things. That's what I'm doing. And that's the secret. You're getting the secret. You're getting stuff that people are just going to regurgitate and put in the book. And then you go pay somebody for a book, but you won't pay me no attention. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? After I told you that all the people who go on this journey get this knowledge, they got it from somewhere. You guys just think one of the gods from the sky came down and gave you this knowledge. No, the only way that people got those knowledge and you hear us regurgitate the same things that these people say is because we all have the knowledge. Okay. We all have the knowledge, but you have to go on the journey because that's what a journey is. You learn it on your journey. That's how you acquire the knowledge. And now that you've gone on your journey and you've acquired the knowledge, you are now qualified to teach others. This is what it is. But everybody else out there that is taking a part in this and, and thinking that they can just jump in this thing and, and have it together, don't have it together. They don't because it takes an extreme amount of discipline to do this. And this is why we're so, this is why we're so obsessed with seed, with seed retention and semen retention content, because we all know, we all know this is the epitome. This is the, the, the this is the best power a man could ever, ever bro have in his life because it creates everything. And when I tell you everything, everything, bro, you could build your whole life just around retaining your seed, bro. But like I said, it's not for everybody and I don't care. Let the guys, let the people sit back and hate, bro. Let them live that life. I told you what's gonna happen. They're just gonna keep repeating karmic cycles anyway. So they can sit there and hate all they want. I'm telling you guys who are awake, I'm telling you guys who out there who are doing this, who are really taking this practice seriously of what kind of power that you're going to be wielding very, very soon, okay? And I mean a ridiculous power, bro, okay? Man, I know you guys get tired of hearing me uh, talk about the great things that happened in my life, but what else do you want me to talk about? I'm telling you what's happening to me and I'm not used to it. Of course, I've had compliments in my life, but I'm not used to it, bro, of the compliments I get. I'm not used to people opening up to me, bro. I give, bro, let me tell you how, how you know people know you are a good person. When they start inviting you personally to their churches, you know how many people personally, I'm talking about real good people, bro, okay, Mormons, I'm talking about people who have a lot of discipline, people who are not living life wild. When they start inviting you to do things like that, bro, okay, that lets you know where your energy's at. When you are able to work with women, literally, literally, and them, they, they not, they not 
ostracize you and you know give you a hard time and not respect you that shows you something i'm telling you everything that i've learned bro and why it's the best tool because you can deal with anybody when i tell you bro that it enhances everything that i've told you and it makes you that factor that people just want to be around your energy bro because most people have off days most people are like i said are living out here and living that lifestyle so they're depleted they're tired they're eating bad they're not going to be on point all the time but guess who's going to be on point it's going to be you guess who's going to be solid it's going to be you you are the person bro who's going to be out here making sure everybody out here bro stays balanced this is the most wonderful job that anyone could ever ask for bro okay and all it took was for you to just take your life seriously and now you're in the position you're in the position bro to help back to make a change and for me i am fulfilled point blank period just off of this i am fulfilled and it's only gonna get further and further because you guys don't even see half the stuff. I only tell you what I tell you on camera. You guys don't see my life. So this is why I say the life on, on seed retention is like a movie because I literally could have a camera out and there's so many crazy things that just happen. So many compliments come out of left field. Bro, when men, when when professional men, bro, who don't, don't need to waste their time to, to talk to anyone, to pay anybody any kind of attention, telling you that you are you look great in what you're wearing and your style. When people tell you that, bro, that right there, bro, it's a big, it just signifies everything to me. It's just a big stamp of approval, bro, of I'm doing the right thing, man. I'm doing the right thing. This is my final form. And my final form, my avatar that I've created is now respected, okay? People pay attention to my avatar. I told you, that's the how you know you're doing it right. You're doing it right when people, bro, if I was some kind of a business, all the people that I touch, all the people that I meet, all the people that come in a, uh, close proximity to me and end up sharing different types of secrets or different things about their life. If I were just to get a dollar from all those people, I would be a millionaire. And you think I'm joking. And it's the energy, bro. It has nothing to do with them being attracted to me. Yes, there's a lot of those situations. But majority of the situations is just strictly because of the energy that I put out. And that right there, bro, makes me feel so good. You have no idea, bro. And and it's and it's it's a better feeling than anything else. There's nothing else that's gonna give me that uh, dopamine release. Of, bro, it's just nothing. There's, there's not one chick that's gonna be able to take me to that level. I know I've been with chicks. I've been with plenty of chicks, bro, okay? Plenty, and they all tried to do the best. You know what I mean? It's just the way it works. But I'm telling you, bro, that the feeling of, I don't feel fulfilled. I feel robbed, I feel tired, I feel lethargic. I feel cranky, I feel moody. I feel weak when I release my seed. But when I do this, I feel energized, recharged, empowered. Bro, <laughs> you keep playing. You keep playing with your life. You keep wasting time. Why this life is just ticking right by one day at a time. You keep wasting time, bro, instead of putting this time into yourself. And you're going to be one of those miserable people at the end of this this whole thing, bro. Going to have regrets. Going to lose yourself. Going to end up having a life that he does not like because of lack of fulfillment. All you have to do is start this journey early enough to understand the power of it. And if you want to continue to go back and keep falling into the, you know, the lifestyles, the cycles, okay? You can do that if that's what you want to do. But I promise you one thing that I have learned that it will hold true, bro, is that 
once you've gone this far, once you've launched that journey, guess what? You will always from here on out have that discipline it takes when you are ready to get your life back on track. And that's a fact. But see, I don't want to have a community be like that. I want us to be strong. I want us to be true leaders, bro. I want us to be true bosses. I want us to one day all be able to come together, link up somewhere, and we just walk into a room, we just walk into a restaurant, we just walk into any kind of space with people and just watch our ability to reach, watch our ability to interact, watch our ability to have people open up to you. That is a true power, bro. That is a gift. Everybody is not approachable. Everybody doesn't want people in their space. But when you can do this as an individual coming from nothing, coming from the bottom, learning the true life, the true life of a retainer master, bro, and you get to that level, man, where you're able to walk through this life, bro, ride the beat like the tightest rapper, bro, be able to be able to change anything, any outcome by just thinking and being positive and directing your energy because now you're full of it. You're full of it. And this life, there's nothing, there's no other life I'd rather live, bro. This is the life. Point blank period. Yeah, I heard about that, Kebby. I heard about that today. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But we all knew it was coming. Okay? But after seeing that movie, like I told you guys, if you haven't watched that review, that Silver War movie, I suggest you go check that out, bro. Because, like I said, they've already shown it in the movie what they want to happen. All right? So there's going to be a time here where... <laughs> We're gonna get what we want. We're gonna get what we want, bro. And it's gonna be another one of those things of survival of the fittest, bro. And if you're not, you're not out here on your P's and Q's, bro, <laughs> you're gonna get caught slipping, man. I just hope that it doesn't happen, man. But from the looks of things, that's what's gonna happen. Nick says, your mind is like radio dial. You can either tune the negative stations off, uh, negative stations or the positive ones. I gave, I gave up complaining recently in life, and it's been amazing. Right, right, right. That's all I'm trying to tell people. And some people think, you know, so see, this is how you know you need to retain your seed. If if you're a person that can't take any type of, you know criticism and I hate to use that word because it is an ugly word but if you're some person that can't take any type of advice where someone's trying to help you better your situation and you get offended by that that's how I know you need to be on retention bro that's how I know you need to be retaining your seat because you have a lot of things that you have to fix see people think that when you get on retention it's just gonna be fix all your problems not really not really it can but most of the time it's not gonna work like that because a lot of people already have underlying problems in their life, bro. And when you have underlying problems in your life and you go on seed retention, it's only going to it's only going to put shed light on those, you know, those things that you haven't fixed. Because you're gonna be doing so much fixing on your life. You're gonna be so much, you're gonna be elevating so high in your life, bro, that you're gonna be forced to look at these things. You're gonna be forced to look into these problems. And when you do that, bro, sometimes it can be overwhelming for people. Facts. That's what I'm saying, Truth and Broadcast Station, bro. Don't subscribe to it. Like I said, we give our energy to everything. Why do you think that they why do you think they pump so much fear? Why do you think they put so much stuff on the TV? Why do you think they do that? Why do you think they do that? 
it's a reason why because once we all start thinking collectively like that like i said your thoughts are powerful okay the muppet babies told you a long time ago bro to use your imagination you guys think it's all cap i'm just laughing at y'all that don't understand what i'm telling you this is all liquid gold game bro okay if you understand how powerful your mind is and you understood that the only other power that you have okay like superman gets his powers from the sun right the only other way a human being a human man can garnish his powers like superman is stop running the faucet that he has on his body that helps him regenerate his power that's the only way and if you don't understand that bro then you're just never gonna reach that form you're never gonna be that person who it is that you truly want to be bro i'm telling you the game the way it is you will never be there because you can't because you don't have the energy you don't have the power you don't have the energy you don't have the power so therefore change manifestation energy okay that is not going to work for you like it should it's a reason why all the top men in the world tell you this is what you're supposed to be doing man this is what you're supposed to be doing as a man i just this this bro go go back listen to what i say carefully okay don't just think that i'm talking okay listen to what i said think about it Take your head out of the cage, bro. Think outside of the box. Get on your attention so it can help you think outside of the box. Think outside of the box and see what your reality is really supposed to be. How you're supposed to be living it as a man. The, the, the mission and the purpose of a bee is to pollinate flowers because you carry the seed. You carry the spark of life. That's why you're supposed to be doing that, bro. Okay? But instead, like I said, our lives are cut short. Our lives are cut short, bro. Okay? We don't ever be able to pan out on who it is we're truly supposed to be. Because this is what we choose to do. When I tell you this is a much freer life, your energy... What's up, brother? That's a nice skateboard, man. Yeah. <laughs> you too. See how it works? <laughs> See how it works, right? Are you vlogging? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's a nice day out here, guys. I hate the word vice i know i hate all the words but guess what truth to broadcast station man until we figure out all of these different words that we are not supposed to be using that we've been programmed to use it's going to take a while for us to all get corrected all right we're still calling each other colors okay we're still calling each other you know lower vibration names we're still doing stuff like that bro until we you know work on ourselves because that's what it takes we have to work on ourselves that to, to in order to study that long to be able to go find answers and most of us don't want to do that most of us are not on self-improvement but i do believe at one point in a man's life when he starts retaining his seed that he goes into that he goes into his study okay he goes into deep thought he goes into focus he goes into solitude my thing is, is i'm just trying to get people to get on this journey earlier i'm trying to get people to understand that you could be superman at an early age and you could create a life for you so great and you could be done with life you could retire you could do all anything that you wanted in your life way earlier than the rest of us because you use your energy properly the way it was supposed to be Yeah, Pacific Northwest, man. Let me get a shot of that sun real quick. B 
beautiful, huh? All right, fellas, I'm about to get out of here. I had to, I had to really get that off my chest. I really want you guys to understand what this is about, okay? And what this is about, this is about all that effort that you put into this, all that discipline, all that want. And this is what this time of the year is for. It's a time, it's a time of the year for you to go out and celebrate yourself. It's a time of year for you to go out, bro, and fulfill your purpose. It's a time for you to go out and show all of that new ability that you done gained from going back in the time chamber, bro, and working on your skills, okay? This is this is what it's for, okay? And if anybody tries to tell you any different, then they would be just talking foolery, okay? Because we already know once you hit a certain age and your reproduction tools are, are not working like they're supposed to be working, then that's the time for you to go within and start retaining this energy. But while, while you're young, your job and your purpose is to be out here flourishing and creating life, okay? That's what we're here for. We're here to create life. All right, we're here to protect the life. We're here to, to create it and protect it. So that's our job. So this is what we're out here working hard for, fellas, okay? So make sure you're working on yourself to the fullest. Get yourself some sun. If you're out there in the sun, go ground those feet. Take care of yourselves. I love you guys. I'll talk to you on the next one, guys. Peace.